All right, Denny, thank you. The threat of more flooding has authorities asking people to voluntarily evacuate their homes in North Texas. Flooding is now blamed for 21 deaths in Texas and Oklahoma. People are keeping a close eye on the rain swollen Colorado River. It's expected to overflow tomorrow. Meanwhile, people in Wimberley are still looking for the missing. We must focus on finding those who are still missing. Forecasters say more rain is expected and the rivers could rise two more feet in some areas. Now a worker with the American Red Cross of Greater Idaho just came home after helping people in Waco, Texas recover from major flooding. That town, one of many hard hit by the severe weather. Eric Gonzalez joins us live in studio with the story of this Red Cross worker. The American Red Cross plays a big part in disaster relief like these storms that are ravaging Texas for the past couple of weeks. Now, one local Red Cross worker says he got a first-hand look at what victims are going through. This response spanned the northern half of Texas and all of the state of Oklahoma when I was there. It has now grown to encompass the majority of the state of Texas. And to see a disaster and an operation, a humanitarian operation, operating at that scale, uh, was almost unbelievable. Christopher Davis went out on his first deployment as a Red Cross worker to cover tornado damage in Texas and Oklahoma. He says what he saw was a real life changer for him. We had a gentleman down in Waco who got struck with a two by four on the left side of his face. His entire face was bruised. Even his eye was black. And just the gratitude that he had for the Red Cross being there to help them in their time of need, to have a place to stay. Davis said in Waco, the Brazos River was 10 feet above its normal flow. He says the hardest part of his stay was trying to take care of those who lost everything, including one man who was injured only to find out his home had been destroyed. After spending six days in the hospital, he was discharged directly into an American Red Cross shelter because they had nowhere else to go. Davis's job was to help out and fundraise in areas that were damaged. He says the destruction in Texas will cost the Red Cross over $3 million to help victims. We help provide food, we provided clothing, a safe place to be and a shoulder to cry on. Two Red Cross workers from Boise are still in Texas right now helping out. A third person is on the way soon.